okay so let's move on so what can happen to this negative charge on carbon the only thing that carbon does is it, it, it has to put its electrons somewhere and that somewhere can be electron deficient side that somewhere can be empty or vital like h plus there is no h plus here i haven't added hcn or water it's just kcn there's no h plus so the only way out is to, is to go and put its negative charge into electron deficient site like this carbon so this will go and react with rest of unreacted benzaldehyde this is benzaldehyde and this is the anion that we have got like this so what can occur happen is this negative charge will go into the orbital of this carbon this carbon will start to form a bond it will break one of the previous bond and put its electron into the orbital of oxygen so now what we are going to have is this All right. All right. So now the negative charge from carbon is gone. Negative charge on oxygen has developed. So this is more stable site for negative charge. So this, this step will occur very fast. There has been a stability in the system because charge has been stabilized. Now, now we have to optimize the stability and we have, we, the, the, the whole effort is to try and think if the factor of stability can be generated and the factor of stability very strong is c double bond o and aromaticity when we are dealing with cyclic ring we have to be vigilant to think if aromaticity can be generated now aromaticity is a ring phenomena in this open chain aromaticity cannot be there so we don't have to think about aromaticity but we have to think about strong bonds strong bonds like n triple bond n like c double bond o here we cannot have n triple bond n we have to always keep thinking about c double bond o if we can generate c double bond o that will bring about stability fine in order to generate c double bond o then oxygen oxygen has to give its electron to carbon then carbon has to become electron deficient electron deficiency can come in carbon if it breaks this its bond now if you look at this carbon it will if it break its bond h minus will come out this is not stable thing. If you break this bond, pH minus will come out. During Canizaro reaction, we had this discussion. These things are not stable. They are not leaving group. If you think about this carbon, if you break this bond, pH minus will come out. No use. If you break this bond, then Cn minus will come out. And cyanide is a stable ion. And cyanide is a good leaving group. Because nitrogen pulls its electron from three bonds and reduces the deficiency electron excess on carbon plus carbon here is sp hybridized hybridization state of carbon is sp because it makes two pi bond so because it is sp hybridized it is more potent to hold that negative charge on its head so the concern is if you break this bond then the deficiency will start to develop on the carbon and the negative charge and the lone pair from oxygen can start gush in to form a bond with this carbon and c double bond o will be generated that's the whole idea now how this can occur the first thing is you have someone ha either either it come on its own or someone pulls it or someone pushes it that's how the cyanide ion will come out if this negative charge we develop on this oxygen then this oxygen can push its electron into the orbital of carbon and then this cyanide group will come out and c double bond o will be generated so for that to happen first negative charge has to occur has to appear on this oxygen so for that intramolecular acid base reaction will occur what will happen is if you do intramolecular acid base reaction then proton will be transferred from this oxygen to this oxygen like this intramolecular acid base reaction next what you have to do you don't have to do anything oxygen will do it all oxygen will push its electron into the orbital of carbon and the carbon will lose its electron into the orbital of cyanide this cn minus is going to come out and c double bond o is going to be generated and we are going to be so happy c double bond o is generated aren't you happy 
stability has come in the most strongest double bond of organic chemistry has been formed so the system has been stabilized right this is called benzoin So the whole reaction, hence the name as benzoin condensation. So you start from formaldehyde, you add Kc into it and you end up in benzoin. This is something you have to remember. Benzaldehyde in, in, a, in a chain of reaction, anywhere you can see Kc appearing. And if that Kc is on benzaldehyde, that reaction will be benzoin condensation and the product will be benzoin. You have to know this and you have to practice this mechanism on your own. You have to master this mechanism. You have to develop the intuition to think of, to predict the mechanism of any particular reaction that will enrich your organic chemistry. Fine, so this is benzoin, nothing more in this reaction. We'll solve a problem and then we'll move ahead.